Welcome back fellow coders, Jared Leary here with Boot Up. This video, I'm gonna show you how to make levels for a maze game. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your backdrops and then click on the backdrops tab and you're going to use either the tools that are in vector mode, the tools that look like this, or you can go into bitmap mode and uh, use the tools in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this mode. Um, I'm going to draw uh, some rectangles and squares and things like that. I don't wanna have an outline on mine. I just want it to be all one solid color. And in this case, I want it to be all black for my walls. So I'm going to draw some walls and my sprite's gonna have to navigate through here. Now, the goal is going to be a different color than the walls. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my goal red. Whoops, not my wall. I'm gonna make my goal red. So I'm going to put a square right here or a rectangle. And so what this is gonna do is gonna make it so that our um, sprite is gonna start here and have to navigate through the maze without touching the walls. And then once it gets to the goal, it's going to switch to the next level. Now to create another level, we just go to the choose backdrop and we can click on the paintbrush right here and then start drawing a new one. So I'm gonna have this one be black uh, and I'm going to make my maze look something like this for this level, and I'm going to use my goal, whoops, <laughs> keep messing that up, click outside of it. I'm gonna use my goal color again to make my goal right here. Now you'll notice that um, I left the bottom left corner blank on both of the mazes in here, and the reason why is because I'm gonna have my sprite start in the exact same spot, and if my sprite starts on a wall, it's going to mess things up, so I want them to start over here. Okay, so I'm gonna do one more level really quick. So let me draw this for you. All right, so I went ahead and uh, added another level in here. And so this one is a little bit more complicated than the other two levels. But in here, we're going to um, make sure that we name these so that way we can know what level it is when we're selecting it from our backdrops. So like this one is level three, this one is level two, and this one is level one. So this will make it easier to know which level we're on. We're actually going to use this for some code a little bit later in this project. Okay, so what we need to do is actually test to make sure that our sprite can fit through all of the levels. So I'm going to make um, my sprite smaller, something like 20%. And I wanna make sure that the uh, sprite, when starting over here, can get all the way through without touching the walls. And on this one, it's super obvious that um, you can get through those levels. So let's test it with the next level. Okay, so small enough here, small enough here, we're good. We'll be able to get through it. And finally, we're going to test it with the third level, just to make sure that our cat can fit through. Okay, there's enough space, good, good. This'll fit. And this is a tight squeeze, but it'll work right here. Awesome. All right, so the reason why we wanted to double check this is because if our cat was, let's say, 60 for the size, then this would be an impossible maze because it would just run into the walls right here. It would not actually be able to fit. So to recap, what you're going to do is you're going to go into the backdrops, you're going to click on the backdrops tab, and you're going to use either the vector or the bitmap mode to create uh, different levels. Remember to add a level, you go to paintbrush. You wanna make sure you name your levels so that way uh, you can easily know which level you're on. And then when you finish doing this, you wanna make sure that your sprite can start in the same location every single level without touching a wall and that your sprite can actually fit through all of the uh, corridors uh, that you made in your maze. So just uh, adjust the size right here on your sprite just to make sure that everything fits. So have some, create, have some fun creating some levels for your maze game. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org, where you can also learn about our high-quality professional development.